Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken the sport history. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set. An ability to stay upright. Yeah. An ability to deal with the pressure of wrestling. An ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetan Pereira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! All right, Grinthin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh. Nice and good, man. Body. 
look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Whiffs on that offer. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just skeeting out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance. When he's in the octagon with fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Good punch, Lance. What a body kick. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, significant strike attack. He landed in perfectly, perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking the shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Round one winding down here. Stuff to take down, no problem. Yeah. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Big leg kick land. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, Mission accomplished so far. Oh, sure knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Boy, tie club. And they separate. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, big elbow. That's a good strike right there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Huge block there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Straight right, he misses. Good takedown defense by Israel. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight.
Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Presented inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 2. Join the winner by knockout, Israel, the last time of Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.